Hello everyone, this is Zebo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So good morning to you guys and I hope you guys had a good weekend. So in today's video, we are back on the Alpha Bear Primer lot and this time around, we found a brand new meta. So I call this meta the Throw the Bear meta and I'm going to review the team setup later, explain the rationale behind the units as well as the positioning as well as the different caveats and then showcase the top damage build done by my guildmate over here, Zephron. Okay, so um, in case you guys are wondering, ah, Zeb, you, you always see me die, blah, 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 but okay, this is indeed the most meta comp because um, after factoring the different conditions as well as the possibility that Alpha Bear's number actually got changed out, um, I figured out that there's actually a way to help you survive for a little bit longer to jam in more damage while still satisfying the previous conditions that i mentioned in the previous alpha bear video so this is the ranking for s1 uh, as you guys can see this is my guild so i have quite a few guild mates on the top rankings so initially right i was slightly reluctant to release uh, this build order because obviously this is a competitive element but my leader was like make the world a better place and we decided to release it and share with you guys the behind the scenes of this build the thinking why this build is the most meta build and I explain to you guys why this is the strongest build in the game right now at least in version 1.13 okay so i will do the team build showcase with my own account i'll explain the rationale what are the different conditions for this to be called a meta build and then i'm gonna do a showcase with my uh guild mates uh footages over here right so zethron top ranker rank one as of the recording of this video his run and then showcase to you guys the caveats as to why this com works itself so without further ado let's go into battle right with my team so um this is the previous build that i recommended for the meta team right so this one we're gonna put in our dear where's my uh, where's my merrily yeah over here so this was the previous meta comp that i recommended in my previous video so if you guys haven't seen the video in that video i broke down the boss skills and then talk about what are the different ways you want to counter the the boss or slow down what the boss want to do so you can squeeze in more damage on the boss itself so for this updated meta tip before i continue and get flamed by people who doesn't have maxed out unit i have to clarify that this is the highest end meta team where everyone would have the unit at a higher level with all the units at supreme plus as well as their ex weapon so i'm going to explain why later on so this is the previous meta team let me do the update for this uh, new meta team and then we have uh, this one okay so this is the latest update or rather this is the new throw the bear meta team so let me explain what the units are there for what's their purpose what they do and why you need their ex weapon so firstly we start with the strongest support smoky and murky insane offensive buff capabilities right with the ability to heal up the whole team while providing offensive presence in the skill itself so haste pass attack and a bunch of heal and on top of that if you do have the ex weapon unlocked smoky and murky actually makes a really decent dps in the team as well which makes this unit indispensable for bossing so next one we have rainer so rainer needs the ex weapon to unlock the damage boost on the target until the end of the battle this is the most important part why you need the ex weapon you pretty much need at least ex weapon um unlocked to get this skill and then it'll be better if you get ex uh, level 10 right to unlock the level 3 skill so that the unit that you sent in gets 25 percent damage reduction which allow the sent in unit to last a little bit longer so next one we have our dear corin so corin is there for the damage output so if you have ex weapon corin is actually an amazing dps unit with the ability to shield your team and then providing more longevity for your team then the next one the fourth unit is merrily so merrily is the carry of choice when the boss is above 50 percent because she's just an amazing single target boss unit you you got to have the ex weapon unlocked to get all the good stuff you have to get all this good boost for her to be caught a true carry but if the boss is 
below 50%, you can switch out Merrily for Vala because Vala actually deals more burst damage and that is more suitable in this sort of speed run conditions where you don't have the time to build up your stacks. So Vala is better when the boss is below 50% and Merrily is probably better when the boss is above 50%. So try and error yourself, the carry of choice will be Vala or Merrily. And the last piece is obviously Coco. So this team was actually used in the Longe's Alpha, I mean Longe's uh, meta team as well, because uh, in this team setup, right, um, in Lone Gaze, you needed a lot of survivability and this team had survivability, had damage and had all the good conditions to do a good damage team against Lone Gaze. But in this Alpha Bear itself, it's the exact same thing because I realized that Coco is just a very indispensable bossing unit because of her ultimate, right? Uh, for those of you guys until now who haven't figured why Coco is OP, let's take a look at that. Coco's ultimate inspires herself and all allies and grant them a 45% damage reduction for 12 seconds. So increase in level increases the damage reduction to 55%. At the same time, it also provides them with a lifesteal as well as a 10% attack boost. So it's a defensive skill which provides a little bit of offensive prowess while making your team last longer with lifesteal. And on top of that, right, this skill also buffs up the EX weapon skill. So after the damage is recorded in full energy has been settled, all allies gains a shield for 7 seconds that can absorb damage equal to 15% of the total damage dealt by allies affected by full energy when it's active. So when you use the ultimate, right, you do damage to the boss because you're only hitting one target, so you're doing a lot of damage. You build up a lot of damage to give you a very, very big shield. So this big shield allows your whole team to survive for longer, making Coco, I'll say like quite an indispensable bossing unit. So this unit, I'll say it's not that much tested in PTR because she's relatively new. And I think she came after this boss itself. So I'll say this is the brand new shred with the brand new unit added because her ability to keep your team alive for longer while providing a little bit of offensive boost in the ultimate as well as the third skill. Right, so her third skill is also a damage increase on the target, which is a damage booster, makes her an invaluable unit to be in the bossing condition. And the reason why the position is as such is because Corinne is a melee unit with a two tower attack range. So this unit will never be in front of the boss. And for Merrily's case, Merrily is a unit that jumps around with the ultimate. So this unit will also not be like in front of the boss all the time. So the only units you can send in while making them stay on the front line is either Coco or Smokey. Okay, so right now this is the comp that we have tried out and we have found the most success with because Coco doesn't move. So you sending her in the front line with Reyna will allow the boss to use the third skill which applies a honey on her. So you need to have at least one unit in front. If not, the boss will trigger the 400% damage to all enemies, which is going to kill your team really, really fast. So that's why you send in Coco. The reason why you don't send in Smokey is because if you send in Smokey and he dies first, your, I'll say like your team pretty much crumbles from that because Coco, I mean, Smokey is a pretty powerful uh, supporter. Right, you need his heal for sustain and you need the heal for damage and you need the heal for the boss for your team. At the same time, if you send him to the front, I think some of the units that are at the back radius might not be able to benefit from the fight cloud. So you want to keep Smokey in the centralized position. So that's why we chose Coco to send in. And another advantage of sending Coco in is that you actually build up her ultimate faster because when the boss uses the skill on her, it charges up her energy faster because the honey will actually re result in this uh, DOT over time over here. Right, units who are honey will receive this damage and then this will charge up her energy and then allow her ultimate to go by faster and this allows you to build up your shield faster and you know do more damage and also benefit from a better factional bonus because in the previous setup when we was running Tor when we were running torrent the factional buff was only 11 percent across the board so uh torrent probably would be better if uh you don't have coco maxed out right because coco you will need the ex weapon as well as the supreme plus skill to see effect so this will still be the best build for most people if they don't have coco if they do have coco coco is proven to be the current best build because uh yeah the boss damage seems to have scaled down so this makes it such that coco shield is actually invaluable in terms of keeping your team alive 
So with that, I've explained the team, I've explained the rationale. Let's do a simple showcase of my guildmate's uh, damage run itself. Let's go. Okay, so this is the damage recording done by my guildmate, as you guys can see over here. So this strat, like I mentioned earlier, is called throw the bear strat because we are going to throw Coco in. So we are throwing the bear into the bear and you guys will see that uh, this team perform wonders. It's very stable because the shield that Coco provides for your team, right, is quite strong in terms of keeping all of them alive longer. So this comp is not only the meta team, it is also really consistent. But the caveat is you need Coco with the EX weapon and you need all the other units with the EX weapon at the higher tier for this to be called the meta team. So without further ado, let's uh, start the footage for you guys to see. Okay, so battle begins. So as you guys can see, we're sending the bear in. So the damage boost that Rainer provides for the unit sent in doesn't really matter in this one because your role is to get a unit into the front line. So they tank the first wave of honey and then subsequently prevent the boss from slamming the floor to do the 400% damage to all enemies. So the damage of choice or rather the artifact of choice is still star shot spell as you guys can see because it's the best uh, late game artifact for more damage. So everything is like I mentioned, she, when Coco uses the ultimate, it not only reduces the damage that your whole team takes from the honey, it also later on provides a massive shield which keeps your team alive for longer. So as you guys can see, the Rainer is dead over here, but merely managed to survive and do a lot of damage or additional damage from there. And eventually she only died after, right, after all your teammate died. Okay, and the boss do the 400% damage slam. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. This is the latest meta team for Primal Lord Alpha Bear. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more meta threats, builds, and future contents from the channel. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys!